Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare one password with the last pass with the Bitwarden. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans, then I will look on the main features and while I will be showing you the main features I'm going to talk about the main advantages and disadvantages I personally see. Now I'm not paid by any of these tools to say one is better comparing to the other, but there is a tool in my opinion which is much better comparing to the others and you will see it by yourself. That is like logical to not use the, any of these two and use only one. So let's start and let's find out together. Now I'm right here. So let's talk about the pricing plans. The first thing, let's talk about like which offers you the free account, which offers you a free trial. One password offers you only free trial account. They don't have uh, like free account, so you just need to always pay after 14 days or using last pass offers you free account so uh, you can use it completely for free forever but to that you got also 30 day of trial for premium but in your free account you won't have security dashboard or dark web monitoring emergency access multi-factor options and also one given encrypted file storage you don't have it so it's like really limited so it's really logical to go to the premium now on the other hand on bitwarden who you got free forever, my friends. Unlimited world items. Password, secured password generate, self-host option. Two factor here, right here. Really great. And look, listen to this. Even in business plan, you can go with two people and have it completely for free. It's like, god damn. Really great, right? Now, let's talk about the premium account. So, Bitwarden. Uh, with LastPass are a little bit on the same level. It depends what features you actually want from the free account. Now, premium account on Bitwarden, it's so damn cheap that you're going to pay like 10 bucks a year. One gigabyte file storage. And you get everything. Bitwarden, TOTP, premium features, cloud host, priority support. Also, the Bitwarden is open host, so we can actually, from, from the GitHub, just see deep into it, right? Comparing to the last pass, you got $290, that's like $350 a month, and that's about, I don't know, you need to pay it yearly, so there's like 30, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, okay? And one password, three bucks, also built annually, and you're gonna have 36 bucks. So that's like, Bitwarden is completely dominating here, and family organization, also same. It's just winning. And like you can see it by yourself. And do you know what is happening? Because Bitwarden chose a completely different strategy comparing to the others. Let me explain. Bitwarden went away. So I'm going to give you really great password manager. I'm going to give it for cheap comparing to the competition. But the quality is outstanding. You can use the free account. It's going to be enough. But if you want to, you can support me the premium account. Isn't it beautiful? So this is something that is like really fascinating to me and I like this strategy that uh, for the past few years companies were abusing the pricing plans and they were much more expensive. For example, there is like uh, one password manager which costed like 10 euro for a year, now it costs 70 euro. So it's like, no, lifetime, lifetime cost like 10 euro and pass and now it costs 70 euro. What the hell, you know? So, yeah, I mean, Bitwarden is completely dominating the pricing plan. There is no talking about it that you, that you, like, like, oh, there needs to be some catch. No. Okay, there is one thing. One password, uh, got yeah, the secret key thing, is that um, one password emergency kit that you, like, print it out with a secret key that you can use. Uh, you can just use it if you lost something, you got a master password that you write here, and you just, like, add it to a shelf or somewhere, right? So, okay, one password got the point here. But let's go further and let's see by ourselves how it feels to actually use 1Password, LastPass or Bitwarden. So, when you would come here to do 1Password, one 1Password one is pretty. It's easy to use, it's simple. You got a watchtower here, compromised websites, reuse passwords, weak passwords. Let me move myself here. Unsecured websites, two-factor. And like using it, you just click plus here. You just add login or secure note, credit card. You have multiple options that you can do. Wireless router. When I'm going to click login, I just add a title, username, password, and website address. Really simple. Like I have it here. 
Facebook, right? I'll just need to cancel this. Facebook. And then when it would come here, you get like the walls here that you can share with the families. So if I would have view family, one password is perfect choice. Now, last pass is a pure trash. And I know that someone can say, oh my God, you are biased. No, I'm not. Like, just feel what I feel. See what I see. When you would come here, you got all items, right? You got password, notes, address, payment cards, bank accounts. Right now, it is much better to feel use one password from just the, how it feels from the user experience and user interface. You click pass here. You click password, right? Then you get like more items here, but it's hidden for some reason. Password, and you just add a URL, name, folder, and it's not that pretty comparing to one password. It's not lean. It's not smooth is the right way, right word. This is the right way. It's from Mandalorian TV show, but yeah. So name, username, site, password. Then I click here and I can simply launch it if I want to, and I can test it out. And let's talk about the Bitwarden. What I really like is the Bitwarden application on that you can have for PC or notebook, or you can simply use it from right here. So I get to see all items here. I can simply check my logins. If I want to, I can add item and really play around it. Now on the app that I really like is that you can click login here. You can simply click plus here, name, username, password, and URL. And you're good to go. Then identity, card, secure note. Really simple, effective. But one password is actually winning here that how many things you have at option. I will leave that to one password and that's the truth. So if you have enough with a login credit card and the secure note, or you want to like add something else, Bitwarden is all right, but if you want to have like, I don't know, with membership with outdoor license, with a password, reward program, server, I mean, one password is much better. Last pass, I just don't like it. Like, let's just see this server. Okay, name, folder, social. You can add attachment. Okay, server, bank account, credit card, and save edit and i it's just like why what is happening you i don't don't understand it so whatever like i just don't understand how to use last person and i was learning like hours in it how to actually play around it and i don't know if i'm doing something wrong but who knows okay one password is just prettier comparing to last pass but bitwarden uh, from the simplicity standpoint is a top notch and let's talk about the extensions now this is where the fun begins so first Bitwarden got five stars is a top notch thing from the how it feels, how it can use it. Uh, then there are not any bugs. So it's easy to use. Also on mobile, it's simple too. Let's talk about LastPass extension. When you would come here, okay, again, good stars, 4.5. Plenty of people happy, but the UX UI standpoint, in my opinion, is a trash. I wouldn't use it only because of this. And when we go to the one password extension, they got the worst reviews because sometimes it's buggy. So I used it for like a while, one password to test it out. Like, okay, it is really buggy or people are like paid or whatever. And it is. So sometimes you need to like delete the extension and add the extension. And then you can actually use it. So you need to remove, login, uh, remove, login, and then like it's bugging out for some reason. And now let me show you how beautiful Bitwarden feels. And I don't know if you're jumping from the last pass or if you're going from the others, but Bitwarden, when I would go here, I'm going to pin it out. Look at this. You have options. So I have a login here. And what can I do is to simply, I can copy the username. Then I can copy the password and just add it. Or I can simply click here and click on the this and it will automatically add it here to my name. Last pass. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove the extension for Bitwarden. I'm going to add last pass so we can see. I'm going to move my camera like here. So you can actually see how ugly it is. Lately, when I was doing a tutorial between one password versus... Mm, Versus something, 
I'm not going to use one password because it was, bu it was bugging out and I had to cut it from different video. It was really bad. So one password was bugging out when I tried to use it and I'm afraid to use it again because I like how we got a good flow together, you know, guys? So last pass. And I'm going to log in here. Just give me a second. And look at this. No, this is not the password. This is it. And here we go. Okay, so we got it. Open my wallet. I can see the Facebook here. And I'm going to restart the Facebook. And look at this. So we got like this button here. And it's like, okay, but it's, it's cool. It's fine, but it's not that pretty as 1Password or Bitwarden. And that's just my opinion. And one password was bugging out with the extension, so I'm not going to show you because it's like bugging out. And this is pretty much it. So if you watch this whole, I'm really thankful. Uh, to summarize this whole video, go with the Bitwarden and you're not going to make a mistake. And I'm not paid by one password or Bitwarden to say these things. I'm really not. But it's like much better, much cheaper, much quality, and you get like open source of people can work together on it. And the community there is just amazing. But one password got more things that you can actually use you know and yep thank you very much have a great day guys and goodbye see ya